Good morning, friends. How are y'all? My name is Brandy, and I follow Weight Watchers. I get 23 daily points and 28 weeklies, and I am trying to get back on track. I've been off track for a little while just due to life circumstances, but I've really tried to rein it in this week, and I'm doing great, and I've been weighing myself daily, and the scale's slightly moving, so staying motivated there, just back working out, staying motivated there, set a small goal of doing well actually it's not that small trying to get back where i can do couch to 5k just so i don't do get discouraged if the scale isn't moving so i have meal prepped breakfast um egg cups but i've had those every day this week and it's already thursday so i also had meal prep for my husband some breakfast tacos but i'm gonna go ahead and steal one of those um it has bacon a low carb extreme ole wrap and egg and a little bit of low fat mozzarella cheese so i'm just going to heat this in the microwave just like this and this is parchment paper i wet my parchment paper just so the tortilla doesn't get too dried out and a minute will be sufficient And while that heats up, I'm gonna make my coffee, which I definitely feel like I need today. I'm so tired. I've still been dealing with sleep issues for quite some time. I actually had a sleep appointment yesterday. It wasn't helpful. She was just like, I don't think you have sleep apnea, which I didn't either. So I'm just ruling things out. So ruled out sleep apnea, which I guess is good, but I'm still having sleep issues. So the next step is the psychologist, which is probably a good thing. I feel like my anxiety has gotten higher throughout the years as I get older, but I am not sure it's anxiety versus non-diagnosed ADHD where your brain's hyperactive, not your persona. But I'm just gonna go ahead and do a little protein coffee. I have about a fourth of this Alani New Munchie left. So that's what I'm gonna use. It looks like a lot, but these cups actually aren't that big. I think they hold like eight or nine ounces. So that'll be one point. About five calorie or five grams of protein if I divided the bottle correctly. And top it off with Starbucks start roast. Breakfast tacos seems good. <laughs> Gonna get me some good old paste picante sauce on my taco. Oh, it's hot. Oh, that was really hot. And I had forgotten, uh, these breakfast tacos were slightly different than my norm because rather than doing scrambled eggs, I did like a fried egg. Can you see that? It's not scrambled, it's fried. Just to vary it up a little bit, uh, when I was in college, the student center cafeteria, they used to make breakfast tacos very similarly on like a griddle flat top. So sometimes I just like to remember that and I do them the same. I mean, I do think they're better with scrambled eggs, but you know, just for, it brings back that memory and I absolutely loved college. So maybe that's why I went for so long. <laughs> Yeah, meaning I went to undergrad and graduate school. I was in college a long time. And according to a lot of people in my family, it was a waste of time because you don't need college. But anyways, I don't think it's a waste of time. Okay. Okay, that's a little bit more munchies than coffee I like. So I'm going to add just a tiny bit more coffee when I sip this down. Munchies is super sweet to me. Okay, it's not that bad. I'm gonna leave it how it is. But I'm gonna, let me count off the points. One point for my coffee, one point for my tortilla, two points for my bacon, because I have two pieces of center cut. And then the cheese, let me see how much cheese I put on here. Oh no, it's, oh, there's no cheese on here. I lied. I thought there was cheese, there's no cheese. Okay, so this breakfast taco is three points and my coffee's a point, four points total, not bad. 
Not as low point as my uh, egg cups I've been eating, but again, that's good. I already know what's for dinner. Matter of fact, let me go pull the meat out of the freezer. You're having stuffed peppers, and if you've been here a while, you've seen stuffed peppers, but everyone always loves when I make this recipe, and honestly, it's one of our go-tos because I can make them in a ton of different ways. It makes a lot, it comes together quickly, and it, they're great for leftovers. So, I pulled out two things of extra lean ground turkey. Um, I'm not sure where this one's from. This brand's Trader Joe's. I'm not sure where I picked this one up from. Who knows? But we will use these for zero points. So dinner tonight will be low point. We got a new Barbie kit, Cupid. Well, at least new to us. My dad gave it to us. Time to water the garden. And it is looking good. We haven't had any harvest yet but it's definitely growing and getting there this will be all my squash and zucchini I can tell they're about to start flowering which will be awesome the heat doesn't seem to be impacting them too badly right now either I think my sunshade is really really helping this side is all my peppers, bell peppers, sweet peppers, jalapeno peppers, that sort of thing. And I am, one pepper is in there growing. It's probably about ready to come off. See, I one pepper. Not sure how big these are supposed to be. They are this Santa Fe Grande. So, I don't know, that one may be ready to come off here soon. Feeling hungry, but it's not quite lunch, so I'm gonna have this mini cucumber. It is my lunch time, but I wanted to show you how my squirrels were doing. Uh, that little guy has not left all morning. I put a fresh cob on and it's already almost gone. He's definitely hogging it. But yesterday when I left, it was like 10 squirrels. Yeah, I'm gonna have a problem feeding all the squirrels because those corn cobs, I do not think are cheap. Right now I'm using the ones I got for my birthday. But I love it. But that fatty squirrel needs to move on. So let me get in my little fridge and figure out what I'm having for lunch. I really don't want my lunch, but that's okay. I'll eat it anyways. It's a salad. And I had a salad earlier. And usually I love my salads. I didn't love the salad I had earlier in the week. But this one's slightly different. So maybe I'll enjoy it. So this is my salad. It has cucumber. So yes, I'm having more cucumber today artichoke hearts, uh, porcini peppers, tomato. These are a little bit of cranberry, black olives. Bolt House creamy balsamic, I believe is creamy balsamic. And then in my bottom, I just have spinach and romaine pepitas, fat-free feta. I'm not gonna put all this. This seems like a lot to me. Oh, maybe it's not. Okay, it'd be okay. I typically don't like that much dressing, but I'm gonna count. Uh, one point for the dressing, one point for the pepitas, the olives, cranberries, and artichoke, another two points. So a four point salad. Um, I don't have any protein to go on it. The other day I added a can of um, tuna, but I had to say I didn't love that. So I'm just going to eat this one out without protein and hope I can get some more protein in my snack later today. So that was way too much dressing, but... That's okay, it'll work. Let me give it a go. I don't have a fork. <laughs> oh goodness, let's see. Pretty good, I had never tried that dressing. So, excited about that. So, four point salad. Gonna have a Coke Zero. And, hang on. Yeah. And four Ritz crackers. I'll have to put those in the app and see how many points that is. I think it's like a point or two. I can't remember for sure though. I needed just a little something else, so I'm gonna have four of these strawberries. 
and the rest will be for another day. It is afternoon snack time and I am going to have this Dan and Light and Frit Greek crunchy yogurt key lime pie and it has the granola and the white chocolate. I absolutely love this one. It is five points but at least I'll be getting 11 grams of protein. I haven't even taken a bite yet and it already is looks like it's like a third gone. I wish they would just use smaller packaging like you're not tricking anyone. Just waste less plastic and use the right size container. Okay, can you tell from the ingredients what I'm making? If you've been here a while, you probably can. Or if you watched this morning, because I said it. I am making stuffed peppers. The first thing I'm going to do is microwave my cauliflower rice so I have time to drain it because it you know I don't want to add all that water that comes off the cauliflower rice. I'm gonna salt start sauteing my two pounds of extra lean ground turkey. Um, to that I'm gonna add some white onion I already have diced up. I'm gonna get my peppers split in half and get them in the oven so they can start softening up before my mixture's done. And then I'm gonna dice up this zucchini and I'm also gonna dice up my mushrooms and my jalapeno and add that to the meat mixture. So let's get going, along with some cilantro. I'll also top with cilantro. The only thing I don't have out is my avocado that we'll top them at the end with, but the sauce I use that is my favorite is this Trader Joe's enchilada sauce to add. Um, these are gonna be super, super low points, so excited about that. I'm also just going to snack on one of my egg cups. I showed these in my last what I eat in a day, but you can have two for one point or zero points for one. So I'm going to have this as a snack while I cook. I'm going to go ahead and season my meat, salt, pepper, a little bit of cayenne, smoked paprika. I'm also going to add some 21 salute seasoning, one of my faves. Got my bell peppers washed up. And the way I like to do stuffed bell peppers, I just cut them in half and then I literally will just grab the inside and rip it out over the trash can. And then I'll go back and kind of re remove those ribs. So let me get to this real quick and then I just bang out all the seeds. Works perfect for me. I got my peppers all ready. I did have an extra one I'll leave behind but I sprayed them with coconut oil and then I'm just gonna cover them tightly and put them in a 375 degree oven just to get them going ahead of time. This is a step you can or can't do. It doesn't really matter. It depends on how soft you like the, um, the peppers, but I'm gonna go ahead and get them going. My meat's starting to cook, so I'm gonna just swish it around. Probably add about uh, half a table or two or three tablespoons of water as well. That's a tip a viewer told me with extra green lamb, ground protein is add the water rather than add an oil and it really does help. Just don't add too much where it steams versus sautés. Actually, I'm going to wait for a minute before I add water because the onion may help with the moisture. Let's see if it's going to help. Adding in my zucchini. I definitely don't think I'll need water with all these vegetables. I forgot about that. And I'm not one that waits for the meat to cook to add the vegetables. I see a lot of people always wait for their meat to cook to add vegetables. Honestly, I don't understand that, so I don't do that. But I'm going to dice up this whole package of Baby Bella's. It is four ounces, and I'm going to add them as well. Jalapeno in. I really like to add the stalks of cilantro when I'm sauteing meats. So I'm just gonna finely dice the stems of this cilantro just to get use out of them. You obviously could leave this step out, but a couple years ago I saw someone using cilantro and she didn't even pick the leads off. She just straight used the whole bunch. And I was dumbfounded because I grew up eating cilantro. My mother always picked every stem off. And the minute I saw that, I stopped picking it. And you know what? You never even notice the difference. So I'm going to add probably like, I don't know, half a cup of cilantro. And the rest we'll use for topping along with the avocado. 
This is going to be a super bulked meal, which I love. You see that? Always making a mess. I need to get a spoon, not this thing. So my meat is cooked, so I'm just gonna go ahead and add my cauliflower rice and my whole bottle of enchilada sauce. So, so far this whole pan is zero points. The only thing I'm gonna have to count points for or is this enchilada sauce. And if I remember, it's only like a point or two, I think, for the whole bottle. I'll have to figure out the points, but these may be zero point stuffed peppers. This is the best enchilada sauce ever. Stir to combine. Stir to combine and be gentle so you don't make a mess like I do. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off my heat too. The peppers got about a 10 minute head start, just a little to help them along. And if you have been here for any amount of time, you know I am pretty much not gonna stuff these peppers. <laughs> what I'm gonna do is halfway fill them, do the best of my ability, and then I'm gonna pour the whole thing over the peppers. Makes it that much easier, way less trouble. But you see how much filling this is? If I had room, I definitely could make that other pepper. However, when we eat these, we really, really like to bulk it up and eat because it is healthy. It's low points, low calories, high protein. So we don't mind eating a bulk meal. I actually love big bulk meals like this. So now I'm gonna go straight over the top. I'm just gonna spread it out. Oh, I forgot that was in the oven. Don't do that. Spread it out and kind of pack it down. You have a stuffed pepper casserole. I like to bake mine covered for about 30 to 40 minutes, really until the um, peppers get nice and tender. That's why I put the foil over it so it'll somewhat steam. But I'm actually gonna go work out and my workout is 30 minutes and um, I have to change and all that. So this will be like perfect. It'll be like 35, 40 minutes in a 375 degree oven. But then at the end, I do pull it off and I may or may not top it with the cheese, just depending on how I feel. Let's talk about working out. So yeah, I started couch to 5K yesterday. I haven't ran in forever. I hate running, but I've always had success with running and losing weight. So I decided I'm still working out in my tonal. I did a, I enrolled in a three week program where I'm lifting three days a week and then I'm gonna do the couch to 5K in addition. So last night I did five, couch to 5K and my tonal lifting. Tonight, thank goodness it's only couch to 5K, which again is like 30 minutes. But that 30 minutes includes like a five minute walk, warming up and then cool down as well. So it's not that intense, however, during the 20 minutes of the running slash walking, um, or jogging slash walking, my, my heart rate will stay up. At least it did last night following I lifted first and then I ran. So I'm going to change, get these in the oven, get these in the oven over there and work out. And then I'll be back to eat, which I'm so excited because I'm going to get to peg out for only probably like two points of avocado maybe a point of cheese and then i may eat uh some little crispy tortilla thingies for one other point so this may be a four point dinner i think i have like eight points so win for me doing it and i decided to do it outside and it's texas so it's very very hot but if you're not familiar with couch to 5k it's just a program to get you to be able to run or jog a 5k from being stationary on the couch. I'm on week one, day two, and like today you do a five minute warm up walk, and then you do eight cycles of jogging for 30 or 60 seconds, and then walking for 90 seconds. So I think I am in my fourth set right now. Obviously I'm on the walking, but yeah, it gets your, obviously I'm having trouble talking. I took Rio for, with me for like the very beginning, but it's too hot for him to be out here for long. Almost time to run again. I made a mistake, friends. I did not wash my hands before I went running and I started sweating. 
and then I use my hand to wipe my face. Jalapeno. So this eye is burning quite badly. <laughs> But I did it, and I have to say, it was two miles. So that was good, because yesterday on the treadmill, it was only like 1.5. So somehow I did better outside than I did on the treadmill. But my peppers, I could smell them. They smell delicious. I'm gonna pull them out and maybe top them with some little cheese, at least a few of them. So I'm gonna top them with some of this Mexican cheese. And I'm gonna turn the oven off, but just put it back in just for a second, just to melt. The heat from the peppers will melt it, but just to help it along, just for like two or three minutes. Okay, this whole bottle of enchilada sauce, the entire thing, 12 fluid ounces, is only three points. So if you divide this across six, it's zero points. So I don't have to count points for this. If I wouldn't have added cheese, these would have been zero point peppers, but I did add some cheese. So I'm gonna count each pepper as one point only. My stuffed peppers, I like crunch. So I'm gonna add a package of these little Salma's uh, tortilla strips. I showed these in one of my recent videos. Absolutely love these. They're a cross between a cracker and a tortilla chip. But to me, I actually like them better than tortilla chips. So you can have three of these. These come three in one package for one point. I bought mine at Aldi, but someone else said they found them at Walmart. So highly recommend these little crackers. Time to plate it up and eat. Okay, friends, here is my massive, massive dinner plate. I'm eating one and a half. Two just seemed a little too big for me. See how the liquid it put off? That's only because I used so many vegetables. If I would have pre-cooked all the vegetables like down, the zucchini and mushrooms and all that, prior to pre-baking it, it wouldn't be as runny. But honestly, I like the runniness. Um, I left it in a little longer than expected. My neighbor started talking to me outside, so I got caught up with that. But just to recap, it's two points for the avocado, and it's one point for the cheese on there, and then one point for my little crackers. So this entire plate of food is only four points. This is a great example, really using Weight Watchers zero point foods to bulk eat. However, if you always ate like this, like every night and only counted at four points, you probably wouldn't lose weight because it's still high calorie. Not super high calorie, not super high calorie, but it is has some calorie. Uh, I don't know how many calories it had, but I know at minimum, the meat itself is like maybe 220 calories and then you gotta count for um, 30 calories for the sauce, avocado, not sure how many calories. So if I had to guess, it's probably like a five or 600 calorie meal, somewhere around there, which typical is typical for my dinners. I try not to get my dinners over like 700 calories, but let me go sit down and eat this and I will be back. I am making brownies. Tomorrow I am hosting a work meeting and I always bring a snack whether it's purchased or made at home. And so, so I'll be curious how these brownies turn out and what they taste like. I haven't decided if I'm gonna add any caramel drizzle or nuts to jazz them up. You grew up baking brownies with your mom or dad. Do you remember doing the old <laughs> pounding it on the counter? We did it with um, cakes too, but always pound the crap out of it. That's going to bake for 30 minutes while I go shower. I'm not sure if I'm going to have a snack. Um, I'll probably try the brownies when they come out, actually. So let me go shower, and then we'll get these brownies out. Okay, friends. I am ending the night. My brownies came out pretty good. I did the tiniest, tiniest little test right there. So I'm just counting that two points. If you cut them into nines, it was... Um, Four points each, I believe, if I calculated right. They're pretty good. They have like a really crumbly texture. I think if I would have put some um, chocolate sauce or caramel sauce in there, they'd have been better. I would have also preferred them with nuts in them, but it's very good. It doesn't have like a weird uh, fake sugar taste or any of that. So I definitely would rebound. I would just like jazz them up next time. But hopefully the girls at work will like them. And I'm sure they will. I'm thinking about maybe adding some strawberries on top and then bringing like whipped cream or something. 
I don't know. We'll see if I get to all that. But let me go through my points today and show you where I'm at. My summary for the day is 21, so I get to carry over two till tomorrow. And if you're not that familiar with WW, you can carry over up to four points a day. But my breakfast, taco, and coffee was four points. And then my salad at lunch was seven points. Yep. Oh, that's with the four crackers. The rich crackers are three points. I was thinking, why is that so high? So really the, the salad portion was four points and then the crackers were three for a total of seven points. And then my dinner was four points and it was so good. Stuffed peppers are like, just like a go-to of mine and they'll be just as good tomorrow. And then my snacks today, I counted two points for this little bite of this brownie. I had some strawberries, some cucumbers, both for zero points. And then I did have one of my Dan and Light and Fit like yogurts with the crunch topping. It scanned for four points. Sometimes it scans for five. I haven't checked the nutrition and I threw it away at work before I scanned it. So I, I can't check the nutrition now, but it scanned for four. So I'm leaving it at four. So that is it, friends. Had a great day, active, got my movement, got my steps. Um, did good today. Okay, see y'all later. Bye.